What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for a LEGO Star Wars review. Today we are going to be taking a look at a very old and vintage LEGO set. This is the LEGO Star Wars Gungan Patrol, set number 7115. It comes with 77 pieces and was released all the way back in 2000 for 10 US dollars. The reason I'm reviewing such a small and seemingly obscure LEGO Star Wars set is because this set is going to be featured in episode 2 of the Naboo Chronicles coming out next week. Um, you'll get to see this vehicle sort of in action. So I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a sneak peek of this set and see all the fun little details. Plus, this is a very nostalgic set for me. So let's dive in, take a closer look. We're gonna start by taking a look at the only vehicle featured in this set. This is the Gungan Battle Wagon. This was used to transport the little blue bombas that the Gungans used for um, attacking their enemies. Basically, the bombas are just uh, blue balls of energy, kind of like what you see right here. The Lego version is not completely accurate to the in-movie version. The in-movie version actually doesn't have a roof, so you can see right in and see the bombas in the back. The reason Lego had to put a roof was because these poles right here connecting to this beast, um, they don't grab onto this part. So if you only had these two poles on the side, if you were to move the uh, Gungan beast, this uh, wagon would just fall down. So they needed to put a roof on to uh, stick these um, support pipes on top. The back opens up to reveal a little compartment with these uh, little dark blue bombas. These are the mounts of the Gungans. These are called Kadu, and they are found on the planet of Naboo. They're basically like the Gungans version of a horse, although they do kind of look like platypus, a platypus. On the back, you've got a small flat one by two tile with a little printing of a knapsack, not a sticker, thankfully. And then these two tannish poles on the back are meant to represent feathers. The first of the two minifigures featured in this set is none other than the famous Jar Jar Binks. Uh, overall, pretty plain minifigure. However, fun fact, um, these head pieces were actually the first non-traditional Lego head molds that Lego made. So these old school Gungans are pretty unique being this is, was the first time Lego really branched out and tried to do something other than the normal head they use. The second mini minifigure is actually one of my all-time favorite minifigures. This is a Gungan Warrior. I thought these guys were the absolute coolest thing as a kid. I wanted one so bad. He's got some black and gold armor over a green body. He is a little bit inaccurate because the Gungan Warriors have a more brownish tan body and newer versions of the Gungan Warrior have since been made with more accurate body colors. However, this guy is still definitely one of my all-time favorites. There's not much to this set as you guys can obviously see, so it makes for a pretty quick review. However, I do have a couple of thoughts about it. This is one of those sets that I think stands the test of time really well and it's not really because of the particular build of this it's mostly because of the molded minifigures and these two Kadu. These are the only molded Kadu that you get out of any Lego Star Wars set. So if you're gonna, if you want one, you have to get one with the Gungan Patrol. I really like both these minifigures. For its time, I think it was a pretty great set. Um, two molded heads plus these two um, Kadu for ten dollars, I think, is a pretty good deal. It's definitely more expensive now. Um, in the 20 to 30 dollar range. This was actually the first set I ever bought on eBay. Uh, I played the Lego Star Wars uh, prequels game and I absolutely loved it and I loved episode one especially. That's probably one of my favorite Star Wars movies and I wanted some Gungans really bad so me and my brother finally talked my dad into helping us and we each got one. So I have a couple of these and I do plan on getting more. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to let me know what you guys think of the Gungan Patrol down below in the comments and if you like the video don't forget to leave me a like and stay tuned for episode two of the Naboo Chronicles. But until then, happy building.